This is a vintage Digimon shirt. These things are crazy. I've actually never seen this one. Conservatively, I'm gonna say that this is like a $180 camera. What's going on everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. So it's bright and early and we're gonna hit a couple of state sales this morning. Haven't really gone to a ton of estate sales in the past. Haven't had a whole lot of luck either. So got to the first one a little bit later than I would have liked, but we're number 17 here going into that house. There's like some music equipment and stuff, which I'm sure is going to go super quick, but you never know. So yeah, we'll see. All right, y'all, we're going to do a little play by play action here. So walking on into the first bedroom in this estate sale here, I come on in here and around the corner, we have a nice little pickup here. We got this Olympus stylus camera. I've sold these in the past. They go for over a hundred bucks. So it was only $8 here. Unfortunately, the rest of these cameras in this little office here were all priced at basically eBay prices, maybe like 80% of eBay prices. So I look at a couple of these and just decide that it is not really gonna be worth my time. So we zipper on up and move on out. On to the next room here. Come up on some really cool music equipment, some little mini amps and things. Here's an old uh, Coleman lantern here. Unfortunately, the prices were pretty outrageous. I'm picking up a guitar pedal here. Everything was priced right at eBay prices, so no money to be made there. So I don't waste any time. Pop on into the closet here and nice little score here. Little LL Bean vintage fleece sweatshirt. I already sold this sucker for 35 bucks plus shipping, believe it or not. So keep an eye out for those. On to the next, around the corner. See this wardrobe and what do you know? There's a dude digging through the shirts. Look, he's got a bunch of t-shirts in his hand right there. Uh, so yeah, not good news for me. So I back out of there, plan my attack. Eventually, I get on in, start looking through the wardrobe here. Pull out a couple little shirts here. Here's a nice little bat all over print t-shirt. So we snag that guy. Uh, nothing really else notable in this closet here. I go over, take a look at this military jacket for 10 bucks. I've sold them in the past, but ultimately I leave that guy behind and we take off for the next estate sale. Here we go. So moving on in, you can tell an old lady lived in here. Lots of old women's clothing. Into this closet here, I do pull out some pretty cool things. I, it's kind of dark in here, you can't really tell, but I come up on a vintage 1970s pair of Levi's bell bottoms. So that was pretty cool. This little Disney pennant here. Turns out to not really be worth anything, so I left it behind. Pretty cool little find though. Walking into this next room, I grab a handful of cassette tapes. They've got some rock and roll. We've got The Cure, Violent Femmes, a couple other notable uh, rock and roll bands. So I grab some of these suckers for 25 cents and back on out. Here we go, can't go wrong with a couple vintage Garfield Dakin plushes. Already sold both of those for 16 bucks each, I do believe. Over in the books here, there's a really cool pickup that I make here in a second. I don't know if I quite catch it on camera, but we'll show it to you later. So that's about it. We'll wrap it up and move out on to the next one. A few days later, we're at another estate sale. We got Lena with us this time. Our snacks. Yep, so we're just waiting Noodles. outside. There's a lot of people out here. There's the house there. So you put one video game out on the table in the photos and you get the whole city showing up. So that's what it's looking like is going on. People are they waiting in line. Yeah, there's people like signing up right now. They had like some NES games and a PlayStation 1 in one of the photos. So uh, we're like 10th on the list. I imagine that stuff's gonna get swiped up pretty quick, but they also have, it looks like they got some vintage hats and hopefully some good vintage clothing and we'll see what else we can grab. So it should be exciting. Kathy, thank you. Uh, Carol. Uh, Kenny, Terry, Terry, Cody. $20 or? That is for these two items. Okay, because I just grabbed a couple hats out of there. Yeah. I wasn't sure the about the hats. That. There's a sign somewhere else. Okay. All caps are all a dollar. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I appreciate it. Yeah. And it's confusing. I should. It's okay. No. Out of there, no problem.
<laughs> so I got one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Sweaters. Uh, and the, none of those. Oh, some of them are marked. Okay. Two of them are marked five okay. each. The Pendleton. Okay, five each. I didn't okay. see yes, markings on the three sweaters, but they're two dollars each. Two dollars okay. each. Okay. At one, two, three, four, five hats. Okay. And the uh, those are um, a dollar each. Sounds good. Okay. Got this three dollar cannon. Three dollar. Okay. And then I've got four cowboy hats. Uh, Seventy-one dollars. Seventy. One. Perfect. Thank there you, you are. so much. Thank you guys. Thanks. Not a whole lot going on in this thrift store today, but I'm gonna pick up one thing here. Got this old Woolrich wool lined jacket here. Pretty nice. It's definitely older. It's gonna be five bucks. Should be able to get like at least fifty, maybe more. Mount Rushmore. And Shania Lip. Let's go, girl. All right, so just got out of the Goodwill bins. Got three good sized bags of stuff. I uh, really don't like to film in there just because it's an absolute madhouse, but I got some really good stuff. Day started off pretty slow, but it picked up definitely towards the end, and I got out of there with, I think, a couple at least hundred plus dollar items. So, yeah, we're gonna go home. I'm gonna hit up one more little secret spot, see if they have anything good, and then we're gonna head home. Show you what we got. All right, y'all, so we're back home. So I've been getting so much cool stuff lately, uh, I don't even know where to begin, but I kinda wanna just summarize it and show you some of what we're working with here. So, first of all, I, uh, I got a handful of shirts from this dude who does storage units, like storage unit cleanouts. So I got an awesome deal on these here, but this first one's pretty crazy. So this is a vintage Digimon shirt, Bondi Digimon. Uh, it's actually like an adult size, so you may see a lot of these shirts were like youth sizes, so a lot of people try to pass them off as like, you know, a youth XL fits adult small, which may be the case, but this is like a legit adult large, which is crazy. Uh, let's see here, 1997 on the tag. So this is pretty rare. This is an awesome shirt. I think I could probably get like 200 bucks for this thing, believe it or not, pretty insane. In the same lot, I got this 2001 Lakers championship t-shirt. I got, so this was kind of like a project piece. This has got like lots of stains on it. So I'm going to work to try to get these out, do some oxy clean, some other tricks here. But this is a 80s Disney uh, Epcot Center Sea Base Alpha, the Living Seas t-shirt. These are pretty rare. They go for like around $100 or so. So I'm going to see if I can get the stains out of these or see if I can get the stains out of this shirt and then hopefully get somewhere close to that. It's pretty sweet. This one I think is a pretty rare one here. This is a another 80s, it's a ringer t-shirt. Uh, another, you can see on that really old Disney tag here. Space Mountain, pretty much an amazing graphic here. Got a small little spot there, so I'm gonna treat that. But yeah, this is another one you just don't see it very much. There are a couple listed online right now for anywhere from like 150 upwards i've seen people trying to get like 500 for these so pretty awesome and i got an amazing deal on these another vintage epcot center t-shirt this is another 80s one single stitch of course the awesome disney tag so man this was just an awesome little bundle here also got this here dave matthews band i think this is a 2006 yeah 2006 tour t-shirt another really cool piece this is a vintage mighty ducks lee sport it's honestly one of the best logos in sports got this here cincinnati reds it's got new with tags crew neck sweatshirt brand new from 1995 so perfect condition olympics atlanta t-shirt here these always do pretty good and then this was from that estate sale but I just wanted to show you this is a pretty sweet shirt unfortunately it is hemmed down at the bottom and the dude freaking stitched his name in the sleeve thank you Larry pretty wild but just a cool shirt somebody will buy it okay moving on so Goodwill Ben's trip I went on like two days ago got like $80 worth of stuff I'm not gonna show you all of it but I'm just gonna highlight a handful of amazing items this first find is actually pretty wild this is a vintage Nike made in USA like baseball jersey with the spell out and it's single stitch these things are crazy I've actually never seen this one so I've seen the one that has like the Jordan spell out before that one's pretty common those go for like 200 bucks or so sometimes a little bit less sometimes a little bit more but I've actually never seen this one before I did some research and I found one that's like teal 
and purple, but I've never seen the maroon and like blue and yellow. So this thing is pretty rare. It's got the Nike embroidered logo on the sleeve there. Uh, this is an Orvis nice jacket here. This is 100% wool. This is a CC Filson 100% wool zip up like cardigan style sweater. This thing is worth around $80 or so. It's in pretty much perfect condition. So yeah, if you're not familiar with this brand, definitely pay attention to that tag. And if you see it, pick it up. They make extremely high end, like outdoor equipment and wool garments, and they are pretty much top of the line. So this is amazing to find at the bins. On top of that, I got these cycling shoes here. The brand is 45 North. These go for $199 brand new. You can buy them right now on the REI website. Uh, so I'm gonna list these for like 115 bucks and they sell pretty regularly. This dude is made by the brand Jemmy. They make all sorts of like dancing little figures like this dude. An amazing find from the estate sale we went to the other day. This is a brand new sealed Chronicles of Narnia full set from the year 1970. These go for around $100 plus shipping online. This is in pretty much perfect condition. To find this sealed, it's just pretty crazy. 1970, that's what, 52 years ago? And this thing is still in like immaculate condition. What I love about estate sales is people take care of their stuff and you know, it's not like it was thrown around at a Goodwill. It was just sitting on a shelf for that many years until Somehow it ended up in my possession. All right, so last but not least, I wanna show you everything that we got at the estate sale today. We actually went to two, but the second one, uh, we got there like an hour and a half after it had opened and there really wasn't anything that we wanted. Um, yeah, got a bunch of clothes behind me because we're prepping for a vintage market this weekend. So just getting everything all ready to go. I got four Western hats. So three of them are Stetson and one is Larry Mahan. So this is a pretty unique one. It's actually got like snake skin accent on the interior but this is a larry mahan vintage cowboy hat here so i'm thinking just from the research i've done like very briefly i think i should be able to get like between 50 and 70 bucks for this maybe because it's red i might be able to get more and then these three hats here are all made by john b stetson which is a very high quality uh western wear brand they make excellent cowboy hats uh, these three here are all in pretty good condition maybe a few little spots here and there i've sold probably five or six Stetson hats in the past. When I used to live in Arizona, I would find them all the time. And yeah, they always sell really well. I've sold some for over $100 before. Two Ohio State Buckeyes hats. These are pretty awesome and they're in good shape. So I paid a buck a piece for these. We got the CBS Sports Corduroy uh, Chucker style hat, pretty cool. Going through the closet in the bedroom, I found this belt and it is made by Red Wing. If you don't know, Red Wing makes some very high quality boots. I came across this little baggie for 50 cents of just random headphones and i realized that there was one unopened package of the wired apple earbuds so these go for like 15 dollars. so i just threw that in they sell pretty quick sony walkman cd player these go for like 25 to 30 bucks if they work victorinox the original swiss army knife so in the advertisement it said that this guy was a lifetime salesman so he had some pretty interesting things this is like a travel case of vintage pen knives with a bunch of different brands on them. I imagine he went from like store to store just to try to sell these to the different companies. But um, I'm not sure what something like this is gonna be worth. I think I paid like between five and 10 bucks for these, I can't remember. This here is a vintage Orvis 100% cashmere cardigan. Pretty nice, I should be able to sell this between 40 and $50. A Pendleton 100% wool cardigan. This dude loved his cardigans. And then Lena found these two, these were really nice. These are both vintage Pendleton Made in USA flannels in excellent condition. So this last pickup was kind of a mystery. I did not look it up in the estate sale. It's got a $3 price tag on it, as you can see. Uh, but I just had a feeling this was gonna be worth some good money. I actually didn't even open the box until I got home. So this is a Canon MC. It's a 35 millimeter old point and shoot camera. But this thing is absolutely awesome. It comes in this really cool case and you open it up it's got the strap in there and it's just got this really cool like velvet lined case with the camera and the flash in there and these things go for crazy money here's also all the paperwork the manual all that stuff this thing is like absolutely mint so there are some ebay sold comps of 
as high as $250. Conservatively, I'm gonna say that this is like $180 camera. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put away. I've just got stuff laying everywhere. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next time.